Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is a True Graham, and this is going to be uh, this is going to be episode two of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker. In the last episode, we um, we discovered that uh, today was our indeed our birthday. We kind of almost slept through it, and uh, now we're gonna go discover what exactly is going on. Oh, didn't mean to jump off there. What exactly is going on uh, in the forest? I mean, a, a mysterious blonde lady is, uh, is fallen into the forest and maybe needs our help. Us being, uh, I mean, we are wearing our hero's tunic right now, after all, so. But uh, first things first, I do actually want to grab these rupees. Uh, they can be somewhat helpful. I mean, f 15 free, free uh, I guess, like, I don't, I don't know what exactly the equivalent would be, but 15 free money things is, is good for us. I'll just call them rupees. I won't try to like make it an equivalent into dollars or something. But also under here, we're gonna want to go. We're gonna want to uh, get get the uh, the tr uh, the treasure. Yeah, it's, it's treasure. If I could actually speak the the English language like a possible like a like the human being that I am, I can't speak English. We're gonna get a hundred rupees because we're gonna need them in uh in just a second. But next, we're going to uh we're gonna go down here, er, and we're gonna go uh we're gonna go into a house that we neglected because we need to get ourselves a weapon if we're gonna go try to rescue our our damsel in distress. We're going to need something to fight off any possible enemies. And, uh, I, we're gonna find that weapon in here with the only man who can fight in the village. Um, Grandma actually referenced him last time. And, uh, he's very important to us. He's kinda gonna give us a tutorial before we get our sword, but, uh, it's all good. We do need instruction. And, so he's going to, uh, he's just gonna give us the, the basic slashing stuff. It's just pushing B. Oh, oops, I accidentally pushed forward. Now I gotta push only B. We got our, uh, these guys are, uh, our Master Mia or Mr. Miyagi, not Master Miyagi, uh, teaching us how to use the sword. It's very important. I wonder if somebody's ever gone through a, a run of Wind Waker without using a sword. I know it's happened in, uh, the original Legend of Zelda. People have gone swordless in that. Well, I definitely was thrusting. Uh, I probably... Probably not something you, in general, yell to old men all that often. You know what? I'm gonna do this this way because I can't seem to. Okay, there. I, I did it that time. And we got a parry now. Parrying is kind of like the coolest combat thing in the game that like that might actually teach you. It's just pushing A when when he's about to attack and you can counterattack. That's probably the most useful thing in the game. Uh, that, like you wouldn't know how to do, but overall the combat is very simple. Yeah, I don't. We, we don't want to listen to you. You're boring us. Just give us our pointy thing, and we can go terrorize the village. All right, let's get out of here. This old man's scaring me. He's bowing in his in his abnormally high rib cage. I mean, look at his. Look at how high his ribs are. And how off to the side they are. They almost look like gills. But anyway. Now we're going to go, uh... We're going to go try to see... If that girl is okay. Oh, and this happens every once in a while. My disc is somewhat scratched, and so I have to... Occasionally we will be getting, uh... That little message. I actually got this Wind Waker disc for free because, uh... My friend that gave it to me was like said it was scratched beyond use, like he couldn't get it to work no matter what he tried. And uh, I worked my magic on it and actually got it to play through, and I played through the entire game with it. Uh, it'll occasionally tell me that the disc can't be read, and I'll have to uh, just open and shut the uh, the GameCube top tray thing. But other than that, it seems to pretty much always work, and so I'm not worried at all about getting it to go through the getting it to work through this playthrough. There might be occasional little interruptions because of it, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal, I don't think. I mean... Right? I don't think it matters that much. It would be nice if I had a... A, uh, a disc that w wouldn't stop and mess up like that. 
but uh, I can I can't afford such luxuries, unfortunately. My disc is, in fact, pretty pretty jacked up. Like it's it when you look at the bottom, it's a miracle that it works. Like it's super scratched and messed up. But I got a free Wind Waker disc. It does I, it didn't. My friend didn't give me the case or anything. He didn't have that. So I just have like a loose Wind Waker disc that I keep in a little CD case. But oh, there she is. So it, it looks like she didn't suffer a, a straight fall, which probably is the reason why she isn't dead. But oh, there's the bad man. I I, I looked up his name right before I started recording. Uh, there, it's like a blue something, but my short-term memory is terrible. And he's he's just a bad man, and <laughs> to me, I I've never really cared too much about the names of enemies in uh, in video games, but I'll, his name will have been on screen, just because I don't know his name, and that's gonna bother me as far as just uh, my OCD for putting it in a let's play. Oh nope! When I do the circle thing, you're supposed to do the circle thing. That's how it works. That's the transitive property of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. Okay, so you did it that time. And now we saved the princess. And I... Sorry, we don't know that it's definitely not a princess. I mean, it's just a... It's just our partner, Tetra. Not even partner, but maybe maybe we can get her phone number. Never know. I mean, we did save her. Get a date. All right. So, so she's not liking the tights. I knew that they would be a little bit questionable. White tights. But hopefully she doesn't make a. She's not too much too judgmental, and we can still win her over with the with smooth talking and. Uh, and a, a bit of things of that nature. The bird dropped you on top of the mountain. Yes. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna go get the bird. So. Yeah, yeah. What about the boy? We want your phone number, Miss Tetra, Sh Captain Lady, uh, who's in a dangerous situation that we saved and now are anticipating a little return favor, if you know what I mean. Well, you followed. A, this is kind of a dangerous place. I mean, we saw some some bad dudes, but she was pretty enthusiastic nonetheless. I mean, it's, it is nice seeing her. Oh no! It's, wait, no. Why are you going for the sister? She didn't do anything. Get get Tetra. I guess they're both blonde. I mean. Yeah, go get him, Link. Good luck. I wonder if if it's like no, it's it's definitely not possible. Not even like a long jump uh, Olympic long jumper could make that jump. I don't think. But the thing about the perspective that always like kind of tripped me up was as he's running, it looks like he could have made that jump if he had been like intent or not if he had been um oh if he'd been like running i don't know just the perspective on that's weird i'm bad at explaining stuff so i should not try to explain anything yeah um i don't think we're a headache i think we're more of a we need to save our god dang sister because uh i don't want her to be lost that's bad It's the mailman. You can't get mad at the mailman. He'll, he'll, he'll keep your mail. If you, if you, well, I guess they're pirates, so they don't have a, a mailbox. Maybe that's why they're so mean to the mailman. We don't have mailboxes. I mean, that does kind of ruin the the whole purpose of the mailman. Uh, many, yep. It's a very knowledgeable mailman. I mean, usually you don't assume that, that that's the job that like doctors would have or of course not they'd be doctors if they were doctors that was the stupidest thing I've said but people with like a PhD are generally not mailmen but you I guess you could learn a lot about people and 
hear, hear the latest gossip if you traveled the country delivering mail. Yes, we saved you. See, see, the mailman is... Uh, the mailman should be... Run for mayor. The mailman needs to run for mayor. Forsaken Fortress is the place we're so going to do. I think it's... Uh, I agree. I second the mailman's proposition. It... I mean, that bird was pretty evil, and if it lives in the Forsaken Fortress, then it's probably, like, evil squared. Um, I, I can think of something that I am indeed, uh, I can, I can indeed, uh, retrieve, if that's, if that's what you need. But, uh, we're gonna go retrieve that in the next episode, so, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one, where we go tackle the Forsaken Fortress.